Hey guys, today we're going to be building Private Drive from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So, first of all, I'm going to show you how the house looks. And also, I'm going to show you how to use structure blocks to make a whole drive and to um and to copy the Ford Angela from the last tutorial and paste it up here. So let's get straight into the tutorial. So here I have already laid it out. So first of all grab your sandstone and fill wait, I'll restart. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 here. And this is going to be this part. Um, and with these windows, you can use any window you like. I'm using these as a custom texture pack that I made. You can use light grey stained glass. So, add two blocks here. One, two, three, two blocks, leave the gap, and two blocks. Three standstone stairs, and then again, two, leave a gap of three, two, leave a gap of two, two, and then again, on top of that. And then, you're going to need to add your stained glass in here, and then just fill the gap here with sandstone stairs. So at the moment, it should look like this. Now, grab some dark oak wood stairs, two here and one like that. And to make the door, get some stripped spruce logs and a stone button. Three, just three up on both sides and another button there. And you can just fill the top here. Now to add this little window, get some sandstone, um, like the big windows, get some sandstone stairs and glass panes. So from where the middle of the door is, break three up. One there, a glass, like that. And then you can just fill in here, a three wide and six tall so as you can see it looks like this now to add the bush you can just place it anywhere like that okay now on this side please one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 sandstone stairs. And just build it up to this, the same level as the front. Now at the moment we are doing the first floor of Hogwarts. And just do, um, of Privet Drive. And then just fill all these walls here. Okay, so now you've done that, it should look like this. Now while you've done that, you can also just do the garage on the same height. Okay. Now grab some dark oak wood stairs and not on here, like one block behind the first one. Just add them up for, get some sandstone, just place it on top here. 
Okay, that is the garage. No, to add the roof. Actually, no. Before the roof, get some um, sandstone, and from here place three up, and now go on top of everywhere except the garage. So basically, the main part of the house. Now this, um, after doing this, we can start the second floor of the house. Grab some sandstone, some sandstone stairs, and some glass. Now, place two, so three sandstone stairs, and then, I'm not sure, then two here. So it should be a, um, two sandstones, three sandstone stairs, three sandstones, two sandstone stairs, and two sandstones. Now just lift all the sandstones up by three. And on the top, add some sandstone stairs. And then you can just fill all here with the glass of your choice. It should look like this. And now once again, you can fill all around. Also, I'm going to be doing a part two for the garden and maybe a part three on the interior okay now you've done that the main part of the house is now built I'll grab some deep slate tile stairs and then place them like up to here so then you can break these two add them there it should look like this behind the door then you can just fill all here and now we can start on the garage so just fill up the stairs until they connect just like and then Grab some, if I can find it, deep slate uh, tile slabs, and here. And then just fill all this. Now, just to add more detail, you can make it brush off to the side. Okay, now the roof of the garage is done, we can start doing the main roof of the house. So start off by just building up a pyramid, starting on one block in on both sides, just to make it easier. Okay, now we just... With this part here, just break this and build like that. Like this. And on here you can just build like that. 
Okay, now to just fill in the roof. If you want, you can just do this on both sides. Okay, now just to fill in the roof. Okay, now the roof is done just like the garage, you can add them on the sides here, just to make it look nicer. And on this side. And see that just and just add even a little bit more detail, add them on the bottom here. On both sides. Okay, now as you see they are identical from the front, but if you come to the back, they quite are not. So now grab some glass, pay, um, glass panes and some sandstone stairs. Now in the middle here, break two blocks. Like that, add some two um, sandstone stairs. And then add a square window in the middle. And also do the same in the top, but with a three wide window. Just to make it more suitable for Harry's bedroom. Like this. And then there's one more window here that's one block off, the same height as this one. Okay. As you can see, this window shows a bit more than this one, as this goes over, like, the wall. Now, to build the conservatory, get, grab some pillar quart blocks, and just build up by two, so four, three, and four, and then just... Um, do the same thing on top, but with light grey stained glass. And then add another layer of quart pillars, just one though. And then grab some quart slabs, fill in the top. And that is the conservatory done. 
just a tiny bit of detail. Grab some sandstone walls and build it up here like it's curving. And then the doorway. Grab some normal terracotta, fill in the conservatory and Privet Drive, the first part of Privet Drive is done. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I almost forgot, grab your deep sleep brick walls, just fill up here as some pipes. Okay, now it's all done, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in part two. Goodbye.